Hello class, this is my actual video for today's lesson. We will start with a chapter called Boolean Algebra. Fine. Uh, this chapter is basically not under Python programming nor under uh, SQL commands. It's a theoretical chapter you can say. Okay. But the knowledge of this chapter, some of the concept will be necessary for you in the time to come. Okay. Now we have heard of algebra, but what is Boolean algebra? Fine. In Boolean algebra basically it deals with various behavior of a computer system. So we all know that computer system is a machine, fine, which is run by electricity. Fine. Now electrical machine, any electrical machine understands, remember only two things. It responds to electricity on or electricity off. Fine. Now this one electricity on and electricity off that is represented in computer terminology by these two digits. What are the two digits? 1 and 0. Fine. Now in the physics basically if you ever learn higher physics, in fact in your class 12 physics also, when you will do a chapter called current electricity, you will see that the status of a current fine, over a particular wire a particular electrical wire okay at any given time say it is carrying a current certain amount of current so in that case the status of electricity over that electric of over that wire is called one that means when basically the current is pa being passed through a electrical wire okay we can say that the status for that wire is one fine Value 1 means electricity on in a very simple language. And when the electricity is not passed by that cable or by that wire, then we call it 0. So electricity on is represented by 1 and electricity off is represented by 0. That is the significance of 0 and 1. So basically, it is seen that we need to devise a different kind of mathematical system where only two digits will be used, 1 and 0. And we have to see various things which happens when a wire carries current and when a wire doesn't carry current. Fine. So basically this chapter deals with various behavior of current over a particular wire. So since only two digits are being used, like what happens uh, when we talk about our normal counting system normal decimal system what is what is it called it is called decimal numeric system why do we call it decimal numeric system decimal numeric system is the numeric system which we use in our daily life to do the counting and all deci deci means what you must have studied that in science deci means 10 in our normal everyday life what we do we use basic 10 digits to count things right to, or to represent number of things so since we use basically the basic 10 digits from 0 to 9 okay 0 to 9 there are 10 digits that's why our daily life's numeric system or the numeric system which we use in our everyday life that is called a decimal numeric system but what happens i told you just now to explain various phenomenon with current electricity and machine behavior basically we need only two things one and zero so that is why scientists have thought another numeric system where only these two digits will be used fine what is that numeric system is called that numeric system is called binary numeric system okay it is called binary numeric system now let me uh, tell you here you don't have to copy anything from the board from on board whatever I am writing it is just for your understanding whatever you have to study from notes that is my responsibility I will type the notes and I will provide them to you every day with the videos so that you don't have to end up writing anything else fine so don't copy anything from the board fine you just see and try to understand what I am doing when you study this uh, the note when you start basically watch the video you have to study the notes given by me also side by side both the things should be kept now i was talking about binary numeric system 
so in this numeric system we use two digits only one and zero right now imagine a number say 27 this 27 is taken from our normal decimal numeric system that is a numeric system which we use in our daily life and this is our binary numeric system so now it is possible to have this 27 expressed into you know binary numeric system because the moment I will express 27 if I want to talk about 27 in my binary numeric system then obviously I have to talk in terms of 0 and 1 fine so it is poss quite possible to convert this number into a number into binary numeric system like water we call water in English but in uh, say in Hindi we have to say Pani fine so what is the conversion fine what what 27 will be recognized as in binary numeric system okay it is possible to convert how to do that just follow the steps very very clearly what we do since in binary numeric system we use only two digits 0 and 1 so we keep on dividing the number always by 2 fine so if you divide 27 by 2 what will you get 13 twos are 26 and 1 will be the remainder so this remainder I am writing on the right hand side like this fine and writing over here fine again you divide 13 6 to the 12 1 is the remainder if I divide 6 again by 2 we will get 3 to the 6 now remainder is nothing so 0 if you divide it once again you will get 2 1 the 2 right and 1 and finally if I divide once again this 1 by 2 I cannot divide 1 by 2 like if I am talking about normal integer division I cannot divide so basically 2 zeros and 0 it cannot be divided so 0 is the portion and 1 is the remainder I am not talking about decimal division normal integer division I am talking about so basically if I divide here this 1 once again my portion will be 0 and remainder will be 1 what we got portion is 0 remainder is 1 now if I write all these digits, look at this, in the form of remainder, whatever we got, from bottom to top, then I will be able to represent 27. That means if I write, look at this, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So if I write 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, this is basically equivalent number of 27. Fine. So every number that is present in our, uh, that is possible for us to form in our decimal numeric system can be converted into binary numeric system fine or other way around I can convert this also to 27 fine but that is not what we want to discuss here I just wanted to show that it is possible to have a number expressed in this numeric system